Super Creeper, welcome to Out of Tars. Hey guys, Spy Jet Ray here, and today we're in Alcraft Tars for an Alcraft Tars tour. We'll begin the tour here in the prison yard. As you can see here, this is a miniature watchtower situated right in the corner of the prison yard. And as you can see, it is very small, you can't get in like that whatsoever. So the only way to get in or out is by climbing up this ladder that is situated right behind the door at the bottom. And there we are, so now we can shoot out at any of the prisoners that are trying to escape. Like, bang, there we are, Endo is dead. Well, Endo's not dead because you can't shoot an Enderman with a bow. Alright, um, Zom is dead then. And then we have a bunch of seats where Endo is sitting in number 6. And then we have this graveyard where a lot of prisoners are here. Press F to pay respects. And somewhere in here is the Destructor after the Super Creeper just exploded him into a whole lot of mess. Now we're here at the cell blocks. As you can see, there are seven colours here. Red, blue, yellow, white, green, orange and purple. They are all the exact same, only with a different colour on the outside. So let's go visit Super Creepers then, shall we? So, as you can see, each one has lighting, and there are eight cells in one cell block, and there are seven cell blocks, so some quick math tells me that there are 56 prisoners in here. And then, if we destroy some of the blocks right at the back, oh look, there's some dispensers here, ready to shoot arrows, flame charges, TNT, potions, you know, anything that the prison warden can get his hands on to shoot at people trying to escape. And seeing as all the cell blocks are the exact same, there is a massive wall of dispensers going right the way down. So, you can't really escape that way now, can you? So now, we're visiting the canteen. As you can see, you can't get through this way due to an iron trap door and a bunch of barriers. So you have to go the long way round where you'll have to queue. There are some tray returns where Endo put all the iron bars after he was done with them. Here are some tables that you can sit and have your food at. And then there's a very big kitchen right in the back. So let's go have a visit. So we got a bunch of ovens here. We got some tables to cut any um, food that we need cutting. Then in here is a walk-in freezer. And there is absolutely no food in there, because why would there be? There's absolutely no one in this prison at the moment. Just me. So there we are. That is the first floor done. So now we'll go up these stairs right here to the next floor and the first room we're going to be looking at is the gym or more specifically the gym showers and there are a lot of gym showers here and they are all connected to a drainage system right at the back here so if we just quickly hop into spectator mode we can go down and oh look at that there's a very tiny drain right the way down to the bottom and it's all connected up and now the next place is the actual gym itself which is where super creeper did his training to fight the destructor as you can see there's a bunch of punching bags here over here is a shelf where all the weights will stay here is a bench press with some very large weights on it. Then we have a treadmill here, a bunch of treadmills. We've got some stairs to walk up and down. 
we have a boxing slash wrestling ring here and we have a bar to pull yourself up on but seeing as Super Creeper doesn't have any arms you can't really use it so there we are that's the gym and now we'll visit the library where there are a lot of books like a lot of books but one place that you might recognize is down here where Super Creeper, Endo, Boris and Slimo made the iron bars to attach onto the antenna and there are three well more than three books but a three by three square three by three cube which is actually hollow so Super Creeper could hide in here if he ever needed to but he doesn't so there we are that is the library and it's very well illuminated down here so this has been the library and as a result the second floor so oh yeah and there's a very nice chandelier in the library as well so now let's head up to the second floor where the more officery that's not a word but whatever we're sticking it so we're at the lab where Professor Rumlau spends most of the time so he's got some sentries here he's got a dispense here to stop people from getting in over here he has a generator attached to his antenna where it will give off a redstone pulse for a limited amount of space squares that is we need a lot more repeaters here for it to actually do anything and then over here we have his laptop and then we have this very strange room where it's very large very dark and there's a lot of iron bars so Professor Umlau is a mad scientist so most likely he kept some of his um, mad science experiments in here it's empty at the moment now though but who knows what is in here in the past or it may be even in the future but we'll leave that there for now so we'll head on to the office as you can see here there are some tripwire hooks here that activate these observers to scan the person entering to see if they really are a guard or a prisoner then there'll be two guards standing up here there's a light switch there there's a vending machine here which is empty there's some chairs tables and a TV here's a surveillance room but oh look you can't see in that well well you can't see in at all and it's locked so we'll have to go to the warden's office then which has this very empty space this massive wall of paintings and this very strange thing here so if we turn that oh what's this that is activated looks like a shape but what could it be and why is it in the warden's office maybe it will show up in a future episode I don't know we'll just have to see but then if we go through this one we're right in the surveillance office and it's very dark so Endo could probably hide in that corner and he'd be fine so here's the surveillance screen here is the surveillance guy's laptop and his printer and up here is a very large tall thing but what is this very large tall thing you might be asking well if we have a look it is actually a massive machine that transfers everything from the surveillance office right into the warden's office and I mean massive so let's have a try of this thing so here's the hopper we'll put that in there and now we'll fly all the way back up here we'll 
walk through this magic door. And oh look, the warden's light has come on. So if you have a look. Oh look, here's the message from the surveillance guy. And that's how it works. And that is how the warden knows everything that's happening in the prison. So here's the warden's office in the surveillance room. But now we got the tower. And it is a very long way up to the tower. But I mean a very long way. Like you got this empty room here, and we climb up this to this room, which has a bunch of gold in, and it has these lights on. So if we turn this green one off, and we'll switch this orange one on, you might be wondering, why'd you do that? What's the point? What's the point in Super Creeper as a whole? But anyways, here we are at uh, this beacon, where we've just activated this orange light. As you can see here, because beacons change colours based on what stained glass they have. So that is how they bring the helicopters in. Except on Mine Mate it doesn't show up, but whatever. And then we have a bunch of rooms that have ladders on the alternating sections. So what happens is a bunch of guards can get ready so prisoners can't jump them while they're unprepared because it takes a very long time to get up to the top. So that's why Super Creeper, Endo and Boris didn't bother going for it. Oh and look, we're at the top now. So if you go to the top, wow, what a view. And there is our beacon. This is, tells them what light to activate, orange, red or green. And then they can have a look out for helicopters. Oh look, there's the helipad. There's the helicopter down there. And there's the antenna. So now we only have two more rooms left inside the prison. And that's possibly two of the most grimmest rooms. Solitary and Execution. So we'll start off with the less grim room, which is Solitary. As you can see, it is very dark. And I mean very dark. There's only four torches lighting this whole place up. And then, ah, here's the stairs. So we'll go down here, and I have no idea where I'm going, so we'll just go to this light one here. So we open it, and oh look, it's very dark in here, and very small. Because uh, unlike the last one, there are no bars down here, just like my life. There's no light anywhere. Self-deprecating humour, yay! So now we have Execution. Yay! Where this is the electric chair that Super Creeper is going to be put on before they realise he's a creeper and they can be electrocuted and turn into something even more dangerous. So anyway, BAM! They've just been electrocuted. And then we have this weird thing down here. What is it? Well, we'll just take um, these body parts of this guy and we'll throw it down there and shut it and that's what happens. All the bodies go into there. Dark, isn't it? So now we'll go up here to the viewing area where we'll see where all the family and friends of the person getting electrocuted stays as they watch their friend slash loved one's final moments. Does Super Creeper have any loved ones? I don't know. I haven't thought about it yet. Maybe in the future, but don't hold me to that. Thank you. And now, for the last thing, is the helicopter. Because as you can quite clearly see, Alcraft has, is in the middle of a desert, so Super Creeper can't escape by walking into the desert. Anyways, so... He most likely needs a helicopter or endo to escape. So, oh look, Super Creeper stood here, Ooh, talking to the pilot. Oh, the pilot sits here and he controls the helicopter and makes sure he doesn't crash and burn. And there we are, that is pretty much everything in Alcraft has. As you can see here, there's the shower drainage. Here is the surveillance office hoppers that Super Creeper ended up destroying. And here is the massive drainage system where all the bodies are. A 
apart from one body. Oh, apart from two bodies. Who are they? Well, you'll find out in the future, won't you? Uh, so, yeah, there we are. Here's the helipad, so I'll land here, as I say. If you want this map, there'll be a download link in the description down below. And if you like that, comment, rate, subscribe. Goodbye! <laughs>